Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. This will be a reading uh, revealing and drawing out some messages that might be helpful for you for the month of September. Uh, don't forget to check out your other readings up on my channel. I have linked a few of your recent ones to this video as well. Um, I hope you enjoy it and this can be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So let's jump straight into it and see what's coming up potentially for the sign of Aries in the month of September. Would you believe we're already at September? Aries, what's coming up for Aries? Okay, Ace of Cups, Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Okay, let's get started with the beautiful Ace of Cups. I really feel like there's a golden opportunity that's being handed to you at the beginning of September. Now, for some of you, it might be a destined water sign, friend, lover, or new connection that's um, coming to the surface here. So it might be a Cancer, a Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, the Ace of Cups also has a strong religious connotation here, so some of you will have blessings that will come to you, but this could speak of more spiritual and emotional blessings rather than physical blessings, although I do see them coming up in the form of the King of Pentacles here for you as well. However, this could be a new job opportunity, but it's one that's going to be more emotionally rewarding. It's everything to do with connection, uh, emotions, it's everything connected with um, emotions, um, and things like that. But there is an opening. I almost feel like there's an overwhelming energy coming through here. It's a very positive energy with the Ace of Cups. Uh, you can see the water um, is overflowing from God's chalice. And the bird he represents a message. So there could be a very important message that comes to you um, at the beginning of September. But it's one that's going to make you feel very excited, very free, and almost very liberated here. Uh, so that's quite interesting to see. Um, now, the next card over you have is the Five of Wands. Now, this can often symbolize disorientation. It's quite a scattered energy. It can represent a dysfunction or lack of um, functionality. This can be with a fellow fire sign. You do have the sign of Leo here, which has come up above the lovers here. So I'm wondering if it is a lover's tiff that can occur. Um, but I'm more leaning towards a group environment here, Aries. So this could be in the workplace. This could be in a collaborative environment. Um, this could be with community groups. There might be a lot of outside influences coming in around you. There might be a lot of people that are putting forward their opinions towards you, Aries. Um, and it's important that you don't I guess you take on that judgment, but, but at the same time, you don't allow it to change your opinion. I feel like there's going to be a lot of different opinions, words, debates, remarks, advice coming in around you, possibly about different areas of your life, Aries, um, maybe even more so about money, the financial realm, or if you are dealing with the Taurus. Um, so it could be in, in any sort of aspect here. But what I see the Five of Wands ultimately being is a lack of function um, or you trying to build something. Now, maybe you're building a relationship. Maybe you're building a home. You're building on finances. You're building your skills, your mental abilities, etc. Um, but there's it's like a discourse or um, it's almost like you're conflicted about which avenue to take or which approach to take. So that's quite interesting that that has come up around you during the month of September. So possibly something to look out for, but there could be a bit of dysfunction happening with a Taurus. If you have been dealing with a Taurus, you might just see their horns, okay? Because you do have the bull versus the lion. Um, very egotistical energy here. Um, very, very dominant and fierce energy coming around you, Aries. So possibly something to look out for. But look, what I love is that there's a very important meeting that's taking place. Now, for some of you, this could be a very powerful twin flame connection. I must mention for those of you who are in relationships or perhaps have different people to choose from, or you might have different people pursuing you, or you might be choosing between different people, or you might have been married for quite some time, you might have been together with someone for quite some time, there might be a very strong connection that's going to be formed in September and it's going to leave you not brokenhearted, maybe not, 
but definitely conflicted. And it's going to you're going to question a lot of things in the month of September, okay? You're going to question a lot of things in particular about your friendships, about your relationships, the people you work with, the people that you're directly connected to. Uh, this is going to be something you're really going to look into on a very deep level. It is a Leo, but it's also the cups, which is back to that water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I, I do believe that's possibly a destined Leo water sign or Taurus that's coming in around you. And you're going to be conflicted between head and heart here, Aries. So maybe this is that disorientation that could be coming forward as the Five of Wands energy. Possibly job interviews that are coming up here as well, important meetings, new formations um, of friendships and relationships, could also be marriages, uh, proposals, engagements, or things of that nature. So that is quite exciting. Some of you might be planning the next milestone with a lover. Some of you that have been experiencing obstacles, the fact that the Two of Cups sits above the Three of Swords definitely overrides those obstacles. So I feel like you're going to find forgiveness, amicability, agreeability, and union once again. So um, this could also be a, a reuniting energy. The Ace of Cups can often represent forgiveness, cleansing, and healing. So some of you are going to be reunited with a long lost love or reunited with a twin flame connection. It very much points to love here, Aries. Uh, but of course, it could be in the career sense meeting with people. Um, but look, just be careful who you're meeting with here because there'll be a lot of outside influences that could delay or deter or could impact this meeting in some regard here. So it's important you go into something with a lot of confidence. The Queen of Swords oozes uh, confidence energy here, Aries. She's very direct. She's deeply analytical. She's deeply observant. Um, she's very switched on, but she knows what she wants. She has a lot of direction. And what I love about this is that mentally, I feel like you're going to have a lot of direction, particularly at the midpoint of September. You might notice that you decide on a goal and you're going to go straight ahead for it, Aries. That's one of the things I absolutely adore about you is your ab ability to chase your dreams, to take on challenges and be so ambitious. Um, and I feel like uh, this month is absolutely no exception here. Um, in particular, if you are dealing with an air sign, there might be some hiccups coming up because this person could A, uh, in the middle of the month or towards the end of the month, present themselves in different ways. Maybe conflicted, flighty, indecisive at times, but at other times direct, um, open, expressive, and uh, engaged. So if you are dealing with an air sign, or even if you're not Aries, you might see someone either as being this way through their communication or the way they're coming across, the way they're thinking, their mentality. Um, this could also be you as well, okay, because it is your energy. It is the cards for you this month. So that's something to think about as well. But for some of you, you might have an air sign that's going to come in and definitely going to arouse certain feelings within you. Um, and this is why I think you're going to be questioning yourself. You're going to be questioning a lot of things um, but the Queen of Swords also represents an important piece of information now the bird is here which can be a Gemini for some of you if you are connected with a Gemini there's an important message coming from this person a Gemini is ruled by Mercury the messenger of the gods which also rules the sign of Virgo so there might be a connection between yourself sorry about those sirens between yourself and one of these signs here but there's a very important message reconciliation okay um, union some sort of news that's going to um, really really change or shake up things uh, for you um, in the month of September now, she does look towards the King of Pentacles, so there might be important conversations about money. The King of Pentacles rules the sign of Taurus. Um, Taurus is a very flamboyant energy. It's about earthly possessions, luxury, sensuality, um, earthly pleasures, romance, love, sex, uh, possessions. So there might be important conversations coming up, documents or messengers about these things. Some of you might be reaching new levels in your career or you might be offered a new and prestigious role. I do see that there could be very good money connected to this with the King of Pentacles because he brings in a lot of money. There could also be a very influential person coming in around you. They're either very affluent, very well cultured, or they're well connected uh, in, the, in the elite circles. Um, very much could be around career as well. If this is a boss coming in around you, I feel as though you might have a bit of complications 
with this person. The reason I say that he sits below the five of wands, which is that turmoil. Now, this could also be gossip, Aries, so be careful in engaging in gossip about bosses or people who are senior to you. Um, if you are the senior person in your company, that you might find that there is a bit of gossip or the team that works directly for you, directly under you, or directly reports to you, might not be working as hard as they should, Aries. So there is the notion of potentially cracking the whip sometime in the month of um, September. But look, let's look what the King of uh, Pentacles can represent in the softer side of things. It's definitely love and romance coming in for a lot of you. Um, you might be questioning someone's loyalty as well this month, okay? Uh, the, the, the King of Pentacles, for the most part, is a very loyal figure. He likes routine. He likes to know that he has someone's trust. Um, he's slower to act because for him, those uh, the very foundation in which he believes things should be built are trust, integrity, um, and things of that nature. So uh, there is possibly building foundations here, but as I said, this... This struggles to build the foundations the King of Pentacles wants or needs. Now, for some of you, there could be a struggle to build foundations with someone, and it doesn't mean that it's going to be ongoing, but the Three of Swords could certainly point towards that. The Three of Swords could point to numerous uh, lovers coming in around you, um, p numerous friends or family having something to say about your existing relationships. These opinions might sway you, Aries. They're going to stick with your mind. Someone's words will echo. You know, the message that someone gives uh, will echo, um, and it's going to be a very important message and it's possibly around a love relationship a friendship or a business collaboration uh, that is what I'm sensing but look it is conflict between head and heart um, it is stormy weather so you might see towards the end of September things could get a little bit emotional you know there's this downpour of rain um, you might feel conflicted, you might need distance or time, someone might be saying things that are contradicting themselves, whether it's an air sign, doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign, it can be any sign really, they might be contradicting a few things here. Um, now for some of you, even if it's like a job interview, for example, or an important meeting, things are going to be very ambiguous, you're going to have to zoom in on things, you're going to have to be very detailed and very specific. Because if there's an, a particular outcome that you wish to gain out of this or a particular job or a particular um, person, you're going to have to, um, you know, bite the bullet and really get into the nitty gritty, but perhaps more so towards the end of September. But this is confusion between head and heart. Um, if it is like a job thing, you might be confused I do see a wonderful offer coming to you, but I do sense there's going to be confusion or you'll have reservations. So you might find towards the end of September there's something you have reservations about, but I think it's concerning another person. Um, now, if you are reuniting with someone that has caused drama or does want forgiveness or wants to reinitiate contact with you, there might be a lot of confusion with this Aries. So again, it's important that you're detailed and you're very precise in what it is that you'll tolerate, what it is that you won't tolerate, because the Queen of Swords knows exactly what she wants. And if you're coming up with that energy, then clearly you've thought about it, but have you expressed it would be something that I would ask you, okay? Um, I will leave it at that though, Aries. Thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe.